Saturday afternoon. Nobody here except us right now. And uh, haven't given you a proper flyby. This is my Glenfield Model 20. And I've got something there. See, got the beaver on the stock. And I've got something a little new, but it's inside. I've got a new adjustable trigger on this. It's adjustable from one to two and a half pounds of pull. I've got it set up pretty close to the full two and a half because one pound man you just think about bang and it goes off anyway we're going to be uh, doing a little shooting with this I'm going to test my trigger out it is adjustable but I have to pull it out of the stock to make any adjustments but uh, we're going to see how it goes and uh, as soon as we get set up here with eyes and ears and everything we will get to going bang back in a few seconds Well, as you can see, my sweetie is already over there having fun with her Mossberg 340. I'm about to take my first shots with the new adjustable trigger. We're going to run some uh, CCI mini bag hollow point to start out with. There we go. Let me get my self situated here. Huh. Let's, uh, well, let's, uh, yeah, let's try that. Nope. Let's try this. Let's put the safety on. Sorry, I should have done this before I turned the camera on, huh? Here we go. Safety off. First shot center. PCO mini mag hollow. And I'm set at about. Oh, I'm set way high. Let's dial this back to four zooms, huh? There we are. That'll work. Now I'm out of focus. All right. Done fiddling around now. Oh my, this is so much better. As you recall, it was horrible before. And after cutting some coils off the trigger spring, I got it up to crappy. This is nice. This is like having a whole new gun. And clean and cold bore. That's three. Nice thing about a bolt action, you don't have to worry about bolt last round hold open. And last one. Oh, I like this. I like it. I might actually lighten this trigger up. I want to go have a look. I'll be right back. Okay, that group had a couple of flyers, but otherwise a nice three-round group. So I'm going to run a three-round group. I'll put some uh, dots out on the target again. And again, more CCI mini mags. These are the 36 grain hollow points. Man, this trigger is so nice. I think this is just about right, really. Maybe a little bit lighter, but real good for maybe doing some squirrel hunting. Ah, 
that looks like a pretty good group. Gonna go have a look. I'll be right back. And now for something completely different. I'm going to try some CCI shorts in the magazine I've been using with this rifle all along. I just, I don't know. I'll see if it feeds. Picked up the first round. I'll go in the bottom left target. We'll see what happens. Shoots. By golly, it feeds. And this rifle is rated for shorts, longs, and long rifle. I just didn't know if the uh, magazine would do it. Not getting the best group out of it, but hey, it works. Didn't quite eject on that one. It extracted, but it didn't eject. And that could have just been me with my bolt manipulation. Okay. Yep, another one. Okay. Well, it worked. That was a surprise. A very plus the one. I'm going to uh, reset things. I'm going to switch over to my Remington 597 because I haven't had that out in a long time. I want to go mark my target so I can remember what I shot on which target. Back in a bit. Well, that was the CCI shorts right there. And that was the C Gila Super Extra on the second five round string. And you've seen these two. Uh, uh huh. I think this was the Federal. And that was the, uh, no, that was the Federal. That was the, um, huh, yeah, CCI 40 grain round nose. Okay, let me mark this target back in a second. I gotta say, I was pretty surprised when I ran those shorts through that magazine. I didn't know if it would do it or not. So apparently, Marlin has a real winner here, or they did years ago. This rifle was, that rifle was made in 75. And in case you don't know, to age a Marlin, you look at the serial number, the first two digits, you, you uh, if they were made before 2000, separate or, or subtract the first two digits from 100. And that'll tell you the year of manufacture. This is a 25, so 25 minus 100, or 100 minus 25 is 75. Simple. Okay. Back with more fun. So you don't have to look up my nose.